Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, we're gonna talk about iOS 13.4 Public Beta 1, which was just released today. We're gonna to go over 12 brand new features to iOS 13.4. We're gonna go over the bugs, the performance, the battery, the heat, and everything. At the end, I'm gonna show you guys our poll. And hopefully you guys will go vote in it after this video and after you play around with iOS 13.4 Public Beta 1. So if you guys didn't know, iOS 13.4 actually did come out to developers last week, but it just dropped a couple hours ago for public beta testers. So if you want it, you guys can go download this. Pretty much anyone can. This is my daily driver, iPhone 11 Pro, and I've got it on here. You probably shouldn't install it on your daily driver, but I decided to take the plunge because, well, that's just what I do. Now this update came in at 4.4 gigabytes, so it's a big file because I'm going from a you know public release version to a beta, so obviously it's going to reinstall everything, so it is a pretty big update. Now one of the first big features in this beta is CarPlay, actually. So if you guys have a CarPlay-enabled car, uh, you guys will be able to see these updated interfaces for CarPlay, and it looks really slick. Now something super cool is that in this beta, there's actually evidence of a brand new feature called Car Key. So in the future, you're going to be able to unlock your car, possibly even start it with just your phone. Now, this would only be available on NFC enabled cars that have obviously support for this, which is probably gonna be very few at the beginning. However, Apple can really roll this out to a lot of different people. So if you guys have a newer car, you might actually be able to take advantage of this. So I will definitely be following this because this is huge news and this is really just something that's been flying under the radar, but car key I think is here to come and here to stay. Now next up here, the mail app has actually gotten a bit of a revamp and this is something that should have been done a while ago. As you guys can see down here at the bottom, the reply button, the flag, the move, and the delete, they all are spaced out properly and before it was just the delete and the reply button over here, they finally brought it back and we've got all of these. Now another cool thing is if you do hit on this flag here, it brings up its own little sub menu, whereas before it wouldn't do that. So this is a huge feature. I'm super happy about this uh, and the way that they've done this. I need to unflag this. Why won't it work? Okay, that's a really stupid feature right there, but you just have to hit that. Bringing back this bar is much appreciated. I hated the way that they did it before, but this looks so much slicker and it just makes sense. All right, next up we've got Apple Music. So if you are inside of a song and you also pull up the lyrics here, uh, if there's a little bit of time in between when the song starts and when the lyrics start, there's these little dots that will show up and they kind of fill in as it gets closer to the song and then uh, it will sync up lyrics with the song perfectly. So this is a great feature. Of course, not every song starts off you know, straight away with lyrics. It might just be a little bit of an instrumental. So this is pretty cool. Now, if you're looking at a song in here and you uh, 3D touch on one of these, you guys can see right here, there's a new button called play last. So there's play next and play last. Play last used to be called play later, but now it puts it at the end of a playlist if you wanna hear it last. So I guess people wanted that, so they gave it to them. Now if you head into settings and then scroll down to accessibility, you scroll all the way down to Siri, you guys can see there's a new option here called always listen for Hey Siri. I'm gonna edit that out so that I don't trigger a bunch of you guys' phones, but anyways, always listen for Hey blank. Uh, if you turn that on, it will listen for Hey blank even when your iPhone is facing down or covered. So if it's like this, it will still be able to listen for it which is cool, I guess, if you use that. I don't, but hey, now it's there. And now there's also a new cool feature where Siri can actually send you back to your home screen. So Siri, send me back to the home screen. Boom, just like that, sends you right back. Before, it couldn't do that. Next up, we've got an Apple TV improvement. So if you guys use this, which I don't, uh, if you go to your library tab, there will be a new button called genre. So if you click on that, you guys can see, obviously I only have one in here, but as you load that up, you'll have all of those to sort by which is pretty cool. Now, inside of the measure app, there's actually a new animation that shows up, as you guys can see here. It's been tweaked just a bit uh, to kind of show you how to use the app. Uh, definitely good because this one, this is how it was before. This additional piece right here actually does help you kind of understand how to use the app because I think a lot of people misunderstand how useful that app actually is. Now, there are also nine new Memojis. I'm not really sure which ones are new. I think it's some of these ones, uh, but I don't use those, so if you do, uh, go for it. I really need to update my Memoji as well. But the last new feature I want to show you guys is in the health app. You go just under your health records all the way to the bottom on the browse tab and click add account and it will obviously use your location, which I'm not doing. It can find hospitals, networks, locations near you that you can add quickly to the health app, which is pretty cool. Now let's talk about some bugs. Personally, I have not had any bugs yet. It does feel a slight bit slower than 13.3.1. But honestly, I don't think anyone else is going to notice that but me. So don't worry about that. Some people have reported iMessage bugs. I haven't had any yet. And some say some audio glitches when switching apps. But 
I haven't had that either. Now I did create a poll at the end of this video. I want you guys to click on it and go vote on it after you've used the iOS 13.4 public beta or dev beta just for a little bit of time so we can get some accurate results. Performance overall has been very good. I have no complaints here. Uh, I do not have any extra heat coming from the phone. So if you guys install it and you get extra heat, if that persists after about one or two hours, you're gonna want to hard reboot the phone. A good way to do that is to just hold the power and the side button right here for a couple seconds and then power it off. Leave it off for about 10 minutes. So leave it off for a little while and then just hold this button right here, the side button, it'll boot back up and it should be good to go. There shouldn't be any more heat issues after about five minutes of it booting up the last time. Now, of course, everyone always asks, how's the battery life? How's the battery life? Honestly, it's been fine. I had about 85% a couple hours ago when I plugged it in. You can see right here, my battery health is at 99% still, and the battery itself has been dropping very slowly. You can see kind of where I installed it. Uh, I was off the power right there. But overall, I'm not seeing any excessive battery drain. Everything here looks about right. But do I recommend this to most people? Absolutely not for the average consumer. However, a tech enthusiast like I am, obviously I'm taking the risk by putting it on my personal phone, my daily driver. I'm not putting this on any of my other work phones or anything like that. Uh, just my personal phone. So if something breaks, I'll just live with it until the next beta, which actually should be coming later this week or early next week. If you want to take the plunge, go for it. But just know there could be some bugs. I have not experienced anything big. We've got iOS 14 just around the corner in a couple months. So I wanted to start getting back into the swing of things with the betas, making more follow up videos like this. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.